Better Best Dog here, Better Best TV and Fit Bully TV. Please, as always, like, subscribe, and share. Appreciate you all, as always, for tuning in. It is that time again. As you all know, we got the Frenchie puppies back. So the Frenchie puppies are now just a little over four weeks. They're now in our possession, so it's now time to start the fun stuff. So what does that mean? It means we get to start challenging them, testing them, see how far they're willing to push themselves, and how, you know, what the Frenchie is really capable in this case, because normally we're obviously working with bullies, etc. and mind you, when Nala has her litter, all litters moving forward, they will always go through some type of process that we're gonna continue to put them through to con continue to keep challenging them and building them um, from an epigenetic standpoint and a physical standpoint as well too that keeps the breed growing, etc. So that being said, what am I about to build here? The first thing I'm going to build for these Frenchies is going to be an A-frame. I'll probably do a little time lapse of me putting it together and then Trev, of course, at some point we'll do a little talk um, when we put the A-frame in their pen and they start using it and we'll catch some footage of that as well. But all these little things prepare these dogs for the future. How so? Well, one of the things that we always like to do is build staircases for the pups. Every single litter, I think, except for the first one, um, with the, which is Ego and uh, Ego's litter, we didn't do anything in that. In, in that litter whatsoever as far as testing the dogs, challenging the dogs, etc. But Baloo Zara, Baloo Zara litter we did, uh, Maya and um, Ego we did. All these litters, we put staircases in them for what reason? Well, what happened when they went to their forever homes, they had no issues going up staircases in some of the homes. I've seen it time and time again. Baloo is a perfect example. He, first time I took him to a staircase, he refused to go up that staircase. So all of these things, all these little things matter in the long term when, for the puppy's development as they get older and they go out into the real world. Why would do A-frame? So they can get used to climbing up things as well too. It starts working their legs, it starts working their back hips. It starts also putting them in the position to understand different surfaces and surface types. So all of these things are a combination of desensitization, while also challenging their ability to think. So stay tuned people, take care of your dogs. I'm gonna put a time lapse over this. Treb's gonna talk more about it. We're also gonna show some footage of the Frenchie puppies starting to use the A-frame and then I'll start building some more things as the weeks progress. We're gonna build little bridges. We're gonna build staircases. We're gonna build all different little contraptions to push these Frenchies as far as possible to see what the Frenchie is really capable. Thank you as always. Please like, subscribe and share and stay tuned. So also really quickly, what are some of the tools and supplies that you need to put together an A-frame? Honestly, it's very, very simple and I'll be sure to make sure moving forward in all of the videos that I do when I'm building something, I'll at least list out the, the supplies and kind of walk you through my process on how I put some of these things together because honestly, we're just being creative. There's no set like blueprint outside of just trying to think of some fun, creative ways to keep pushing and challenging these dogs. So what do we need? We also, we need uh, for the A-frame, obviously two board, which is gonna actually act as the ramps. We're gonna need obviously some bolts and screws. We need some, what are these, these, these hooks. They're gonna go inside, which is gonna hold the chain. Obviously we're gonna need a chain as well too, which is gonna lock the A-frame in place when it's standing at, a, um, when they're both standing on both the sides. And there's some hinges as well too. It's not very difficult to really put all, put this thing together. Have to make sure you have a drill. And that's all you essentially really need is those simple things, like I said, you're about to see the time lapse of me putting this together, but these little things, if you just take, and this is gonna maybe take me not even, maybe 10, 15, 30 minutes max to put together, taking these little steps to make sure, to, to do these things to help these puppies develop, like I said earlier, goes a very long way. So if you have a kennel, um, and this is something that you do, I would highly encourage and recommend because now, like I said, me being new to this space, only being in the dog space realistically in the past like two, two and a half, three years, more so the past year and a half when I've been really, really dedicated. But like I said, I'm very fortunate to be around a lot of people who've been around dogs their whole entire lives and I get to learn from them. But just even seeing it firsthand, litter after litter, I've now got five litters under my belt that I've been able to see back to back to back. And every time when we've implemented new things and done new things, especially on the most recent litter, the, the litter that Junior and Hera came out of, those two litters alone, all the stuff that we did with them, it's translated into the real world in real life and it's evident in every single litter that we've done from the litters that we didn't do stuff with to the litters that we really took the time to really build out all these contraptions, put them through these processes and then really taking them out into the real world, it's all translated over. So I would highly encourage you if you have your own kennel and you know, you, you're doing the breeding thing and you're really trying to better your dogs, this is something I would really, really recommend trying and doing so then you can assess and understand how you can keep to continue to better your program moving forward so stay tuned people time lapse coming trev coming soon and uh appreciate you for watching guys uh, so uh you know the question i'm going to answer is our frenchies capable 
I know some people who do a little ratting with their Frenchies. What I do know is that they seem to be a little motivated. Look at that. Now, we'll, we will test everything that we normally test. Clearly not to the extent, but we're going to push them a little bit and see what they're capable of and if they're um, going to at least try. A-frame, what does it do? For one, big dogs have struggled with the A-frame. But let me be very clear and tell you this. Guy reached out to me a while ago and he said, uh, French Bulldog bit his dog. And I said, did it bite her or did it react? Because if a dog bites you, it's coming after you. You know like, oh, that dog bit me. A reaction is much different because a reaction is a defensive thing. And so objectively the dog's like, hey, leave me alone. Well, my wife said the dog was trying to uh, area around shoulder should, looks like ringworm in the nipple region, looks like a hot spot. <laughs> Ruben, <laughs> one of the most important people that I know, period. Shout out to my guy Ruben over at uh, RP Images and, and uh, San Miguel Bulls. We we trying to figure out how to what's going on with Junior, and I sent him some very specific videos, so he gave us some info. Let me get this over with. A frame is where we start teaching the dogs to use their back legs and front legs. The Frenchie actually have sharper nails than our bullies. I don't know what it's from, so I can't say. But they're walking up this thing, and they're already getting super stuck. So I'm actually going to trim their nails here soon, and that's very simple. You see these things? French Bulldogs have to get trimmed regularly. Their nails don't always break, but look at them little things. And you could, I don't know if this camera's that clear, but you can already see the yellow and the white down there. So you have to be very careful, and even more importantly, keep them uh, still. <laughs> and then we're gonna see how curious they are. What I do love is already, we've seen that they're curious. I put this down here, my stool, cause I like to spend time with the pups. And I said, dang, they're investigating the stool. You want to start early investigation. I mean, you want to start curiosity early. The more things they see, the less likely they'll be to respond. And believe it or not, French Bulldog doesn't have a muzzle, but it can still hurt somebody. And nobody feels, or once, nobody's going to feel good when daughter dragging Frenchie onto an elevator. Frenchie never been on an elevator, lacks exposure and experience, turns around, bites daughter, leans forward, bites daughter. That'll make you question, hey, can I leave this dog with my wife and, and child and, and they be safe with this dog? Absolutely. But people, places, and things, the more the dog sees, the more confident it'll be, the less likely it is to respond. <laughs> We're gonna watch them grow for the next four weeks or so, people. Stay tuned, take care of your dogs as always. Thank you for watching.